as I stated earlier in the evening, we were looking for a total of about five and a half million dollars in reductions next year. Um, as of right now, the council has authorized staff to essentially address cutting about three million. So we're still two and a half million short. Um, recognizing that not all of our recommendations might be doable or palatable at this time, we have also proposed some additional alternatives for uh, pursuing um, and we would like some council direction in terms of uh, whether there's any that you're really opposed to us um, at so least looking may, at. May I ask, with regard to the separation incentive, I understand that's a really big number. My concern is, uh, and, and my question is really this, if, if you're giving people um, a separation incentive, but then the job gets filled and the next person along gets bumped up in pay because they're taking over someone's job, I mean, you're really not accomplishing anything. So although I, I don't want to say that I'm necessarily opposed to it in every circumstance, generally I'm concerned that, that that's exactly what ends up happening and there, there's no real savings or or the savings doesn't become what you thought when you originally uh, agreed to let someone retire and someone else moves up. So right. um, I, I would generally be against it, although I, I, I have an open mind, I, but that yeah. doesn't sound like a way to accomplish much. I'll, I'll let Gretchen address that. Just real briefly, Councilmember Nelson, the plan here was that we would offer separation incentive to those positions that we would need to have vacated, otherwise through layoffs. So we would identify specifically those class classifications and or divisions where we need to reduce staffing and make only those positions eligible for the separation incentive. So it would include then not filling behind anyone who received the incentive. And now is this separate and apart from the positions that have already been talked in the budget uh, about being eliminated? It would go along with it. Okay, so, if, well, <laughs> that brings up a good point. Uh, if we have, for example, 38 positions, not counting the, the police uh, positions that we talked about, that were going to be eliminated, wouldn't this be a cost increase if we then handed them cash on the way out the door? Uh, the, the answer is yes, because yes, I is. just heard it. Yes, so yes. how is it a $2.2 million savings if we're giving them money that we, uh, if we didn't approve it, we're giving them zero. If we approve it, we're giving them something. That sounds like we're going up, not down. That's correct. Um, I, I guess I misspoke when I was saying it's only those positions. We were looking for not only those positions that were, were um, seeking vacancies now, but also additional vacancies that, again, would also um, remain vacant after the, uh, an individual accepted a separation incentive. Uh, opposed. I think I found the flaw in, in this one, and it's, it, it's, it's too, too likely to become uh, a, a reward for something that was already going to happen, so I would be opposed to that. 